Hi students, I am Pawan, your science master. Today I would like to speak to 7th standard students. Students, in the previous class we have talked about different names of materials and test for them using an artificial indicator that is blue litmus paper. Okay, students, litmus paper is of two types, one is blue litmus paper and another one is red litmus paper and to identify the nature of the substance present in the materials, we used blue litmus paper. If blue litmus paper is turned into red, you have to confirm that is an acid and if red litmus paper is turned into blue, you have to confirm that the substance is base. Students, today in this video, we are going to learn some of the names of acids and some of the names of bases. Students, some of the names of the acids and bases are displayed on the screen. You can see them and you repeat after me. I go on reading the names of acids. You please repeat after me. Acetic acid and acetic acid is present in vinegar. Citric acid, citric acid is present in lemon and orange. Butyric acid, butyric acid is present in stale cheese. Lactic acid, lactic acid is present in buttermilk and curd. Oxalic acid, spinach, tomato. Malic acid, apples. Tannic acid, tea. Olic acid, olive oil. Stearic acid, fats. Tartaric acid, grapes and tamarind. Palmic acid, palm oil. Ascorbic acid, Amla that is emblica fruit. In our local language, we call it as Usirikaya. And uric acid, uric acid is present in urine. See, students, these are the names of some of the acids present in some of the materials. Students, you take a blue litmus paper and test them you will find the blue litmus paper turning into red. Definitely the blue litmus paper turns into red, then you have to understand the material consists of acid in it. Okay, students, the names of the acids are different in different materials that you have to understand. Okay, students, now uh, some of the names of bases also I will tell you and the materials in which the bases are present also I will tell you. Please, you please see the table displayed on the screen and I read out the names of the materials and acid present in it as well. Okay? You repeat after me. Lime water, we have prepared lime water in the previous class, right? We have talked how to prepare lime water in the previous class. What base is present in it? Calcium hydroxide and glass cleaner. What is the base present in glass cleaner? Ammonium hydroxide. Soaps, sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide. You know, soaps are of two types, you know, detergent soaps and bathing soaps. So, there are different bases present in them. And milk of magnesium. So, milk of magnesium, it is a material <coughs> in which uh, magnesium hydroxide is present. Students, in the previous class, I explained about how to prepare magnesium hydroxide, right? You have to take a magnesium ribbon and burn it 
and you get ash after it is burnt the ash you have to collect and mix the ash with water and that water uh, you, uh, the water is nothing but magnesium hydroxide so here so here you have to understand one thing most of the acids names most of the acids names are ending with ik okay ik is the suffix of acids you try to understand most of the names of acids are ending with this ik suffix okay ik once again if you want to recollect you re you just you you just go back and see the names of the acids you try to understand how the names of the acids are ending okay say for example citric ik ending ascorbic what is the ending word ik ascorbic ik 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 is coming at the end of the word right like that you have to understand all the acids names are ending with the suffix ik okay try to understand that then you can understand easily and you can remember that and you can understand whether it is acid or base by seeing at the name okay students now and most of the basis names basis names are ending with hydroxide hydroxide okay hydroxide in the sense there is water content in it water content so like this you can understand uh, the names of the bases are suffixed with hydroxide okay uh, say for example ammonium hydroxide potassium hydroxide calcium hydroxide magnesium hydroxide these are all the bases by seeing at the name you can understand whether that is base or not it's very simple okay students so uh, understand you can remember the names of the acids and bases like this students you please read these words to listen yourself at least and you have to recite recite and recite you will be able to understand you will be able to remember forever okay students and uh, the points for uh, today's video in this video uh, only that uh, i want you to learn only the names of the acids and bases and the assignment i would like to give you is to post your voice after reading this record your voice of reading uh, acids and bases names and post your voice message to uh, whatsapp group okay or else you can send to me directly okay students this is for today thank you for listening thank you one and all